Join us, MrTruck.com, for truck reviews, trade reviews, and accessory reviews. Mr. Truck here with another exciting review. We are at Jackson Lake, which is really cool. Even though the water's dropping, I'll be able to walk out halfway in the lake. And we're here reviewing a 2020 Nissan Frontier. Yes, I know it's the same truck as 16 years ago, but next year it's going to change, be a major change. So this year they gave us a new engine. And this new engine is a V6 3.8. It was a four liter, but now it's got more power. It's got class leading horsepower. I've got my cousin crew here. We're going to go over all the accessories, the features, and try it out. We've got a four-wheeler in the back. I'll tell you all about the trailer problems we've had. So hold on. Now, with me is Chris Woodard. He's my second cousin. And how much power do we have, Chris? Uh, 310, 310 horsepower and uh, 281 for torque. Now tell me, I heard you're moving to Missouri. Why would anybody move from Colorado to Missouri? Because... <laughs> Uh, the cost of living is a lot cheaper there. Oh, well, cool. You know, your folks, my first cousins, if they move to, to Missouri, I'm going to make them my second cousins and make you my first cousin. So tell them not to do that. i got to have lunch with somebody every Sunday. And here I have Isaiah. Hello. And I have... Kaylin. Kaylin. <laughs> okay. This is our crew. We're going to run around the lake here and try out this frontier and see what it does. So come join us for the review. Well, the interior of this Frontier, it looks the same as it's been for years. It's got the moonroof. It's kind of got a dated dash, but it's very functional. The screen's a little small there. I have a hard time with navigation with my big fingers. But you got independent temperature control. That's nice. You got heated seats, actually. There's your four-wheel drive switch. Four high, four low, two high. And then you got heated seats there and the sway control. And the sensors on the back, and then there's that locker. I love it having a push button lock switch for the rear differential. And let's see, nine speed automatic, push button start, real console, little tiny storage area. I can fit this camera in, and that's about it. Works for your armrest, and you up here in your normal things and steering wheel, cruise control, your phone controls your modes. And there's your normal dash. It's like they used to always be, and these still are. You have a little bit of digital stuff in there, and there's a the few gauges. Temperature and fuel gauge, and I guess like the oil gauge and all those things are, are all fluid level, all going to be idiot lights, which is what they were when I was a kid. It's got tilt wheel, double glove box, and of course, all these compacts, subcompacts, and mid sizes. You have to smash everything in a small space, so your mirror controls are here on the dash. Downhill descent, cargo lamp. Wow, does this mirror fold? No, that just tells you that's what it is, it's a mirror. But, you know, normal space in the doors, cup holders. Power seats, though, that's pretty nice for the size of a truck. And I do like the Pro 4X stitching in these leather seats. Pretty good, pretty good. Back seat holds my luggage. I guess there's seats for three. You got a middle folding armrest, and you got storage behind the seats. That's always nice. And I really like cargo management in these beds. You got these railings, goes all the way around in two on the floor. And you can do like I did here, and you adjust your clamps for holding your cargo in. And they work very, very well. Five foot bed in this crew cab. And it's got a bed liner. They were one of the first ones to do the factory bed liners. Plastic in a tailgate. But I do like the rack on top of the roof. If I ever get a kayak or a canoe, I would have a place to put it. Sliding rear window, tinted glass. Good looking wheels. Hand coupe wheels. These are the aggressive all terrains. 
Thank you for coming for the little truck. And like I keep saying, they're great value. It's probably the cheapest priced one in the category. And the category is getting pretty full now. You've got, you've got uh, Wrangler, uh, Ranger back in it. You've got uh, the Jeep Gladiator in it. But, cool truck. The, the Sway Control. Rockford Fosgate system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's old school, which I, I like a lot of stuff old school. But, you know, it's, it's just dated. There's the only thing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with the truck. It's going to last you forever. And like I'm saying, this is the time to buy them. When you got the new engine, the new transmission, the old body, you can get hellacious discounts. And I'd say if I was looking for a midsize, this would be on top of my list. I think it's the most value you get in a midsize class. So with a lot of competition running with this Frontier. And it used to hold its own. Well, now you see the numbers dropping off, so they've got to do a change, a new body style, and a bunch of other things. And it'll be cool. They've done it to the Titan a couple times. And I like the changes they did to that, so I'm sure you're going to see a similar theme. It won't be a T like they do all the Titans. Probably an F somewhere. You'll find an F in the taillights and an F in the dash. And, well, there it goes. Oh, look at that. He's a pro. Good job. Another adventure here at Jackson Lake. We've got a full crew. Kelsey's got a youngster that's sick and it's not fun to have little ones up checking the new truck. So here we are, my new crew. This is the Pro 4X series, which is the one I like. I love this in a Titan too. It gives you the different shocks, and tires, and all terrain tires, skid plates. And it's really good. I was planning on taking this off-road, but the plans changed, so we're going to take it off-lake. So, I was trying to look up here what the old one had for power, because it was different with the 4-liter, same thing like what Toyota did. Yeah, this one here, the old 4-liter had 261 horsepower to V6. This V6 has 310, and as far as I know, that's class leading. I know I'm the only one wearing a mask, but the rest of these folks all live together. And that's how it is when I'm home with my kids. We don't wear masks in the house. So, there we are. Oh, did we already go through that? No, there's no nope, thing. Right here. We've got one camera on. And we'll see everybody in the lake or out here enjoying the heat. But, and that's also what they changed. Went from a six speed to a nine speed. And that's kind of all of a, a thing that'll tell us why don't we go through both sides? You want me to try it? Yeah, let's try it. We're Mr. Truck Company. Oh, we can do a lot. So they ask us questions. These guys may be new people here. Well, if you aren't breaking the rules, you aren't doing anything. That's my rule. Unless there is only one person in there, then they might get all upset with us. Thank, Thank you. you. See, they know Mr. Truck. <laughs> yep, they went from a 5-speed to a 9-speed. That's a big improvement. I think I've already done that on a Titan. And there's similar transmissions. 16-inch wheels on this rascal. Now, this is like a pre-production model, so there's no Moroni. So I'm just going to have to make stuff up. No, I won't do that. That'd be a terrible thing. Everybody out here camping, having a good time? It does have a rear differential locker, so some button you can push. Must be on yours. No, there it is, right there. I'll show that on the camera where all the toys are. Push button four wheel drive, and this is a true four wheel drive, high and low. And put it in two wheel drive. The off road package, the Belstein shocks, which I like. And of course, the skid plates on the oil pan, the fuel tank transfer case. So it covers your engine, the transfer case, fuel tank. That's the important stuff. I like Pro 4X package. I've driven a lot of these in the Titan. I've driven several in the Frontier. I'll probably find some place some rocks that I can climb over. I actually like the mirrors on this. They're a decent sized mirror for a mid-size. And this will actually tow 6,640 pounds of trailer. And the thing with that is I always request hitches and the Lexus didn't come with a hitch. This one supposedly have a hitch. It didn't. And 
so Nissan was kind of, they said they could take it to the dealer and put it on, but we never had enough time to do all that. But you also got wired in for a, you know, some kind of lights on your trailer. But that's what I wanted to do, and we'll keep on that battle. Eventually, somebody's going to remember that I only went with the trailer, towing ability. Ah, uh, there's the lake. We'll drive around the lake so you can see it. We'll go see some sea dews. The lake is going down this time of the year. They start draining a bit because it is a farmer lake reservoir. But I always liked this truck. I always considered the Frontier the best value. You know, everything else is a lot more expensive than the Frontier is. I want you to go all the way to the end, and we'll follow that one to the boat ramp toward the boat ramp and around by the lake. This camera's on that side. A lot of people out having fun. It's unbelievable how popular Jackson Lake is. We was here a lot this winter able to get in here couldn't go to the picnic grounds but the forest the ranger the park ranger so we can certainly come through here it's a pretty nice one too they got outhouses everywhere they got a beach where you can go out there and walk in the sand chase the pelicans this has got the tilt wheels it's got all the cool stuff push button start and that's new for this year but this is the best value out there in a mid-sized market we can go back out there another spot. I'm glad they updated the, the engine because that's what we'll see next year in a new body style. We'll have the new engine and the new 9-speed, same one we have now. So this is probably not a bad idea. You can go out there and buy a brand new 2020 for a whole lot less. With the, the more powerful engine, the most powerful in the mid-size class, and the 3.8 V6 with the 9-speed. And then next year when the fancy smancy model comes out you'll have everything but the skin you know so it's probably not a bad idea to take advantage of this with all kinds of rebates zero interest and everything else so i don't know it doesn't seem too bad yeah i got a red light now by golly just for fun i'll go over all this stuff again the msrp was thirty-eight thousand seven hundred and forty-five. Now, if you've heard this before, tell me. <laughs> I don't know what's working on this new camera and what's not, so I'm just going to tell you the whole thing. Okay, this is going to be 38,745. As Chris told you, it's 310 horsepower, 281 pound-feet of torque. And a two-wheel drive, you can tow a 6,640. Not that they have any hitch, so I can tow anything. And it's got the push-start button, the tilt. An off-road package gives you the part-time four-wheel drive. Gilstein shocks gives you the uh, all-terrain tires and a skid plates on the oil pan, the transfer case, and the fuel tank. But, yes indeed, it's a 9-speed. you got to love that, 16-inch tires. Replaces that 3-liter V6 that only had 261 horsepower. So that's a big jump from 300, from 261 to 310 on this new 3.8 V6. Fuel mileage, very confusing on two-wheel drive. That's 24 in the highway. 20 combined, 17 is city. Now just lower those by one in each category, and that's what your four-wheel drive gets. So that's what it is. And we're towing this. We probably have 500 pounds in the back, and I don't know if we have 400 pounds in the cab. We're nowhere near what the payload is on this. But we're having fun here at Jackson Lake, which I think everybody and their dog is here. Did you guys bring your dog? No, we left them all at home. Oh, okay. So is that the truck you're going to give to Isaiah? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, that's what you do. After you bang them up, you give them to your kids. That's how I looked at it. Okay. Well, that remote thing, or I'm going to stop using that because it's blinking now, it's working, and I have no idea when to quit doing that. You want me to go all the way out? Yeah, go out. That's more. Okay, now, you had... You, the. You're talking about the off-road package, and this is the Pro 4X package. And what did you say about Bilstein's? Well, your, your Pro 4X package isn't that more of the higher-end package usually in, in, in these trucks? They are. It's a big thing with Mercedes, so you're right. right. And that's, that's, uh, they have a lot of cool packages. RVs are big with them. The high-end RVs love Bilstein's. So I guess my thing with this particular truck, this day and age, these uh, touch screens or these screens that you use your navigation for are usually a little bit bigger than what's yeah. there. I mean, it's a little yeah. bit hard to see compared to some of the other trucks we usually... Yeah, and that's about a 5-inch screen, and that's the problem with it. When I 
I actually synced my phone to it. It worked fine. Then I tried using navigation, and I got these giant fingers. You know how big those fingers are? I was always pushing two buttons trying to put an address in, so I had to do that three times. But yeah, then this, this is old school dash. You can see what it is. None of this is like a modern setup at all, but that's fine. That's what makes it economical. You can see down there, we get next to the locker. And oh, it's got heated seats. Holy cow, it's a luxury automobile. It's got the backup beepers, which I hate. The, the sway control. So I think it's, I think it's a pretty comfortable truck. I mean, yeah, you like I'm a, the I'm seats. a bigger guy, so I think it's you know fairly comfortable. I wish I could lean my seat back a little bit more, but you know yeah, we got somebody sitting behind me. Yeah, but it is a, a pretty comfortable road. truck for what it is. Yeah. Well, that's cool. It's like somebody stole the Chevy. Yeah. But yeah, I mean that's see, I've got a I've got a wide body reporter, but. And so I have to have a white seat. And this does well. The bolsters aren't bothering you. Some vehicles, the bolsters are pinching on you. Yeah, they're pinching your sides. Yeah, this so I nice actually, this is, this is good. This is good, good for the white body. And you got, you know, you got 12 volts. You got the USB connector. I don't even know what you got in the back, but I'm sure there is something in that middle console. But let's see, let's just have it. Oh, look at that. Something happens here. Maybe this, oh, look at that. It still has a double color box. I think Ford just started doing that. Everybody else had it for a while. These guys have had it for a while, and I, I'll show you with the ATV. This has cargo management in the back. It's got the cleats that slide along and you change them. Mm -hmm. I love that. They're the first ones the Titan was. First truck to have that, and the factory spray and bed liner, and the rear anti sway control. And so, of course, the Frontier ended up with all that stuff too. And it's, uh, it's they're, they're actually ahead of their ahead of the class way back when. And now, now it's does time this for truck have different options as far as motors go, or is it just the one motor that? I think it's the one motor. There was a time when this had a manual transmission and a four-speed. That's a good question. I'll have to look that up because somewhere in here I saw a radio and a four-cylinder. But that's what the, the base package was, was a five-speed manual and a four-cylinder. And I did see something on this. Oh, yeah. It says it replaces... It replaces both ends. It replaces the 152 horsepower inline four, which is what they had the four cylinder, and then replaces that 40 V6 with 261 horsepower. So both those went away, according to this. And that's what a lot of them come. You know, that's what the Ranger is: one engine, one transmission, 10 speed, yeah, and, and a turbo. Lives. So it's getting to be a thing, you know. And I think the Colorado and the Canyon on the midsize class got rid of their manual transmissions. The manuals are gone away. The, the you know Ram is the last one of the Cummins with a with the manual. Yep, there's a lot of them going away. So nobody's gonna be able to know how to shift anymore. But that's <laughs> you know they got lock up torque converters. So in my opinion, I don't really need them anymore. But that's a lot of people love manuals. So now where'd your truck go? If you have a short bed truck, you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck. Pop up came out with these extensions from 9 inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer. And everybody uses a shore bed. That's the most proper truck there is, is a crew cab shore bed. So, protect that window. Well, this is Mr. Truck. This is uh, epi not episode, yeah, it's uh, season 11. This is 11 years I've been doing these videos. So now I'm doing more of them. I started off just doing a few of them. Technology's changed a lot. So this is year 11 for YouTube, year 19 for full-time automotive journalists. But, uh, let me shut this fan off because I don't know. But anyway, season 11, Mr. Truck's Old Man Words of Wisdom. Today's wisdom. I know it, I know it. What was it? <laughs> I remembered about five minutes ago. Oh, yes. It's about what you control in life you know people get upset with other people people get controlled by the people but the only one really that you have control over the only thing you have control over is you you can't control the weather you can't control your parents can't control your teachers can't control your bosses you can only control you and basically that means you can't can you can control how you react to those other situations people difficult times difficult bosses you know all these things that happen in life that's how you got to remember this, is that person will not change. You cannot change that person. All you can do is change how you react to that person or that situation or that thing in life. You know, there's going to be a lot of tragedy, tragedies over your lifetime, a lot of happy times over your lifetime. And you can't expect somebody else to make you happy or somebody else to do these things for you. It's you. You're the only one who has that control. So it's really important that you recognize that. 
and know that no matter how bad your parents were, no matter how bad your, your situation is, and, and they may not be bad, they may be good, but things will happen to you that you won't like. And you can't keep blaming them forever because, you know, all those people, they have their own lives and they'll go on their own ways. So you can't let the people control you. You can't let them make your life bad or make it so you never really enjoy your life. So you got to make that decision that the only thing you can do is decide for yourself what's going to happen to you as much as you can. And it's your attitude. It's, it's how you end up approaching things and how you deal with other people that will control that life. So don't expect somebody else to come along and, and make it good for you. It's going to be you. So remember that. You control your life as much as possible. I mean, I know there's things out of your control. But I know a lot of people have ruined their lives because they blamed their childhood. They blamed something on their whole life and they never would get over it. Well, my, it's my, that's my theory. Get over it. Now it's you. It's not anybody else in your past. It's not anything else in your past. The tornado's over. All those things happened to you are over. So now take charge and make a good life for yourself.